Hey guys, today we are going to talk about another robbery, uh, this time in Seattle. $15,000 of Magic the Gathering cards were stolen late Wednesday or early Thursday morning. And, you know, some of these videos I put out because it does get the information out there. So if you're in Seattle and you see a collection with certain cards in it, and I'll have the link to the image, the list of notable cards, then you might say, hmm, well, I am going to report you. And that's how Pat's Games, which in Austin, I never would have expected them to recover. It definitely is as soon as they did, and in the manner they did, where the person trying to buy this to a different store, the different store has heard the news all the way about from Austin, and was able to verify and work with the police and work with Pat's Games to recover the stolen merchandise. So a Seattle game store was hit by... Uh, this week, the store is out a few thousand dollars of merchandise. Uh, the store is called Green Lake Games. So if you have any information of this, then you know obviously contact them. They probably have a Facebook page. I was completely ransacked and torn apart sometimes late Wednesday or early Thursday. The store owner, Alara May, estimates roughly $15,000 worth of Magic the Gathering cards were stolen as a total disaster area and as a community so when someone steals something from Best Buy, you know, good luck. Your face is going to be plastered on the news and you're probably going to be caught within 48 hours because people care about that, right? Uh, less people care about, so less news outlets report when magic cards are stolen unless it's for a very large sum of money. So it's pretty much up to us via Facebook, via Twitter and YouTube channels for, you know, if I have a YouTube channel, I think it's kind of a community thing for me to try on the off chance that someone sees this particular collection which i'll link it below and says oh this person trying to sell on craigslist i better report to green lake games maybe it's kind of on us as a community to self-regulate uh, at least that part because no one likes stolen cards and it's just a very bad icky feeling but outside the community, I'm sure the police could care less uh, most of the times. And, you know, the news outlets are, I mean, they can't even spell cards right. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.